Welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts, guys. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and go feed the chickens some salad. And we'll check on them and see how they're doing, check for some eggs. And we're going to go ahead and fix that top right real quick. Hey girls, you ladies want some salad? Watch out. Hey Lord Farquaad, how you doing? Huh, you doing pretty good? There you go ladies, go after your cucumbers and tomatoes. It seems to be the first thing they usually try to go for is the tomatoes and the cucumbers. Cucumbers for the seeds. So they're all doing pretty good. Oh, I'm going to need to change out their water here. It's getting a little low. See how the rooster in here is doing. How you doing, boy? You doing pretty good? Look at that, guys. They're laying their eggs in the corner again. So we got two eggs there. Let's see if we have any eggs in the nesting boxes. None there, none there. Two more eggs. Nice, that's four eggs so far today. And they don't feel cold, so they shouldn't be frozen. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab the water dish from in here. It gets a little nasty where the rooster is. That's frozen solid, too. That ends up, this bowl ends up getting full. Of just sawdust and everything. Let's grab their other water while we're here. Alright guys, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get these waters out here and then we'll just check on the chickens a little more. It is extremely uh, icy out here guys. That's what I love about these uh, due north spikes. Because I can pretty much walk with good confidence out on all this ice. And it not be a big deal. Alright, so we're going to give Mr. Rooster some more water. There you go, guy. You got some water. Now we'll go get the other water. Kids are playing with these tools. Oh, jeez. See if we can't get that out of the ice. I don't want 
this out here if I'm gonna. My wife is telling me we're expecting a a big storm. Um, where we're gonna get a. My wife is telling me we're expecting a large storm. We're supposed to get over a foot of snow. And if that's the case, I'm gonna want a snow blow to the chicken coop, so I don't want that ice pick over there. I don't know what the kids were doing with it, but apparently they were playing around with it. So. This greenhouse did not hold up well. I gotta get another top for it. Because the top that was on it just. It just deteriorated in one year. I gotta. Can't believe that. Well, what do you expect for 20 bucks, right? I am definitely not a fan of this type of water. Every time I do this, I end up getting water on myself. Not too bad there. Whenever you transport that water, I usually carry it upside down, uh, and it just, anytime I, anytime I carry that water, I carry it upside down, so that I'm not sloshing water all over the place, but you still got to flip it over when you get to the chickens. Sometimes the chickens will be all in this area, and I end up getting a little bit on them, and it doesn't make me feel good when I get them wet, it's cold out. You're still a sweet girl, aren't you? Roxy's still a sweet chicken, but oh, she just pooped on me. Yes, yeah, sweet chicken. Ah, well, I guess it's time to go change. I guess Roxy didn't want to get picked up. Before I go out there, I'm just going to go ahead and fix the tarp. All I got to do is just pull it down. Oh. <laughs> then I've got a string that comes all the way over here. I'm just going to go ahead and lift that, put it right in there. That'll tighten that right up. That should help to hold that down a little bit better. Now it's got a little bit of pressure there. Let me check the other side. Yeah, that one needs to be redone again. So all we gotta do is grab the corner here. Pull that. I'm just looking to see if there's got anything I can. You know what? I like that, and that's going to help hold that in place. And hopefully I don't have to fix that one again. Well, guys, again, thanks for coming along. If you like what we're doing, make sure you click that subscribe button. Um, like the video if you like it. And I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go change and get out of these uh, 
chicken pooped pants. Have a good one, guys.